All righty. Dinner is done. The table is clean. And my baby, hmm, huh, still hasn't left her room. Is she still working? Man, she's been at it nearly all day. I've barely seen her at all. She came down to grab a plate of food earlier, but other than that, I'm pretty sure we haven't even hugged today, much less talked. She's just been so busy, and I've barely had a chance to talk about it with her. Hmm. I know she said not to bother her, but... Maybe you'll just pop into her room to bring her a mug of tea or something? I can say with confidence that she has not been hydrating herself. Whenever she gets in this zone, hydration is the last thing on her mind. And she obviously deserves it after all this work. I'm just going to slip in and out. I don't want to disturb her train of thought too much. Hey, baby. I brought you something. Can I come in? Wow. It's like the whole energy of the room is just... Blah. Heavy and suffocating. She doesn't look so great either. Mm. I hate seeing her so stressed. Eyebrows are all drawn together and she looks like she's frowning. She looks so worried. I, uh, brought you some tea. We were out of peppermint, so I used chamomile. I hope you don't mind. Okay, good. I'll just place it right here. There's a bit of honey in there, too. Some, uh, honey for my honey. <laughs> mm. What are you working on? Really? That same project? Baby, is that what you've been doing all day? I see. Well, how's it going? I'm guessing you're nearly done. It's been, what, six, seven hours? How much work could there possibly be? Hmm. Mm, okay. Okay, I see. All right. So, there's some work that needs to be done in the presentation, some formatting, some uh, missing info. Pages are missing? Baby, how did, how did it get to this? You've been working on this all day. Oh. It's a group project. And it's due tomorrow? Oh, I'm so sorry, baby. This sucks. Have you talked to the other members about it? What'd they say? They didn't even respond? That's odd. You'd think that... Baby? Hun, what's the matter? Oh, baby, don't cry. Don't tell me you're not crying. I can see the tears in your eyes. <laughs> it's okay. We'll fix this. Come here. <clears throat> okay, so, uh, tell me. How did this all start? Like, right from the beginning, what happened? <laughs> well, yeah, silly. I assumed that the project was assigned. <laughs> I did say start from the beginning, so you're not wrong. Okay, after the project was assigned, what happened? Hmm. So, you all started talking and they seemed pretty dismissive. Pretty bored and inattentive. Red flag right there. Then, 
You divided up the work, and at that point, uh, it was pretty obvious you would be an involuntary project manager. Uh, how'd you divide it? Mm. That sounds like a lot to give yourself. I, Yeah, I, I wouldn't trust them with it either. Especially with how they were treating the project. How, how much of it did they complete? I'm guessing by the looks of the presentation, uh, not a lot. Were you able to contact them at all? Maybe give them a friendly reminder of sorts? Okay, you emailed them and... And texted? Multiple times. Wow. All right. And still no response? <sighs> yeah. Sounds like the typical group project. Did, did you do your part? Well, that's good. That means there should be nothing you need to worry about on your end. What do you mean? You shouldn't have to be responsible for their work. I know that it's your project too, but you're not responsible for what they were supposed to do. They were given their part, and if they fail to do it, that's on them, not you. You've tried your absolute best to remind them to work, and they didn't. I mean, look at all the emails you've sent. You've been working on their parts? Baby... You don't need to do that. I know they aren't doing it, and you want it to be complete, but it's a group. That's the exact opposite of someone taking on all of the work. Th that's not what I was saying. I would never call you a control freak. In fact, you're the last person I would call a control freak. I'm calling you responsible. Being a control freak is completely different from being responsible. From what it sounds like, you were basically forced into becoming the coordinator for the whole thing. You did it because you're a responsible, hardworking person. Not because you wanted to take over the situation. You've reminded and prompted and worked your tail off to get this project done because they weren't doing it themselves. They didn't follow through. I mean, heck, I think this responsible thing is borderlining on selflessness. You're giving so much of yourself than you need to because you're just that kind of a person. No, you don't have to thank me for that. It's just the truth. Hmm. Yeah, good question. Well, you could just leave them be. We'll see if they do the work, and if they don't, you can message the professor about it. No, baby, that wouldn't make you a snitch. You wouldn't be doing it to create a problem. You'd be doing it to salvage your grade. Otherwise, the professor will never know that it was specific people not doing their work. You'd have to accept the same crappy grade everyone else would, and that's not fair to you. Huh? You don't have to if you don't want to. I just want this project to have the best outcome possible and for you to be happy with it. I hate seeing you stressed like this, frantically refreshing your emails and checking your phone. I, I know that you have a habit of shouldering all the responsibilities if no one else is there to do it, which is great for everyone else, but not for you. It's not fair if they ride on your coattails while you trudge through the mud to get this done. You've done your part, and you've done it well. Now it's time for them to be mature and do theirs. Okay, how about you send out one final email and let them know that this is the last call. If they don't get their part into the presentation, that's that. Put the foot down. Then take a deep breath. Go on. There you go. And breathe it out. Breathe out that frustration and stress and worry and... It's done. You did amazing. I know that it's a bit hard to walk away from. How about I help? 
after you send that email, you can shut it down and we'll go do something you'd like to do. Something relaxing. Ooh, great idea. Fire, that's a really good show. We can watch that. I'm going to head to the kitchen to uh, re-warm up your tea. <laughs> mm, yeah, sure, I can make some popcorn. I can make some of that, and we might just have some candy in the cabinet I can pull out. <laughs> now, put on some PJs and get ready for some quality, worry-free snuggles. Mm. See you in a bit. <laughs> 